how do I store my bitcoins? How do I store it? Let's go to the price of Bitcoin. How much is it? It's over seven thousand dollars. Now it gives hackers a chance to actually hack into your system and steal Bitcoin away. Yeah. I want to show you something. This is my system, right? These are the files that are in my system. And this is my PC. And it tells you everything about my PC. And it can show you my proper the properties of this system. This is the properties of this system. Can give you all the information about this system. And a lot of stuff. And let me show you my phone. This is my phone, right? Let's see. Let's see about the phone. It gives you a lot of information about the phone. This is the number. And these are codes. And there, even me that is using this phone, I may not know everything about this phone. Do you know an intelligent guy could play a smart one on me and actually hack into my phone? So you now see the issue of antivirus. The systems were developed and the issue of virus came in. Someone just complains and say, uh i can't find this file in my system oh my system just shut down my system is not working anymore anymore oh i see files like duplicating themselves in my system how do i solve that and that's why they brought antivirus but initially oh they said this is the best systems they have flaws in themselves and you now come to the issues of ATM the automated teller machine when you have the ATM card do you know that this guy who is taking this money and do you know this guy could be receiving this this or uh, this fellow here after he withdraws his money, do you know he could be receiving an alert, an alert at home that he's actually taking money from his account and we realize he's, he's at home and he receives receiving an alert that he just deposited some money into his account. There are smart guys everywhere. There are tips everywhere. I was I was discussing with the fellow one time. I said, what happens if a guy is trained or people are trained in the military and like say someone is trained in the marine or is trained in the air force and they are not giving jobs you've you've taught them warfare you've taught them how to detect the enemy you've taught them how to hide away from the enemy you've taught them all this and you don't automatically employ them what do you turn what what would they be in society 
Society will be in chaos. And that is why if they don't want to have anything to do with you, they just screen you out before they give you training. Because you could use that training against them. It's like the, the enemy, people already know that the enemy that is very difficult to fight is the enemy that knows the game. So how do you store your bitcoins? Banks have been prone to hackers. Telecommunications uh, uh, devices have been hacked. And even as we discussed about the private keys and the rest of them, I'm going to, I'm going to mirror my phone to you again. Now, this is my phone. I'm going to mirror the, the phone. I want to show you now we're talking about these keys and one of the things you must know is as you type in this key the trusted execution environment let's go to Google Trusted execution environment. Now, let's look at Wikipedia. The trusted execution environment is a secure area of the main processor. It guarantees code and data lo loaded inside to be protected with respect to confidentiality and integrity. The TTE is an isolation execution environment as an execution environment execution environment provides security features such as isolated execution integrity of trusted applications along with confidentiality of the assets in general terms TTE offers an execution space that provides a higher level of security than a mobile operating system in the more professional stops now the question is this same knowledge, these guys who want to protect, let's go back to this to my phone. This same knowledge, these guys that want to protect you have. These other guys have it. How do you not protect yourself? Let's talk about the, the pros and cons of desktop wallets. There are many desktop wallets that you can actually use. There are places like uh, Cryptopia. This one provides a wallet, it provides an exchange, provides a marketplace. Provides, you have exchanges like Bitress. And store your coins then you can keep them there but anything would happen to them these are web then you have polonius you could also store them there till whenever you want to move them out now they have their own pros and cons they are over the internet and w w w w the internet is not something you actually see it's a kind of communication that can be intercepted by any person. Anybody can be spying on you. While you are typing in this code, someone could break on it. So they have their own cons. And then we'll have the mobile wallet. Now, the desktop wallets are very well, but I think very useful if you are out out on the street trying to pay for something in a physical store that is where mobile wallet comes in it's, one of the advantages of mobile wallet is that it's handy you can take it all about now in some cases a bitcoin wallet we even take an advantage of a smartphone near feed communication feature enabling you to tap the phone against a reader and pay with because without having to enter any information at all what that means is 
you have something like let me show you my phone okay now you have things like uh, as a back code scanner now you've seen things like this where you actually you want to scan you want to scan a product to say okay this is something and this other that, that now when you want to send money to an account you can actually scan the account address yeah maybe from the system and the rest of them now it has its own problem someone can actually hack into your phone your phone can actually get into the hands of some people i i i, I remember a few years ago in my home my younger ones the maybe i'm sleeping they they they, they, they get my phone and they play with the phone and they play games because they are, there are games in my phone they play games with the phone and they run down the battery and you wake up you're like what my battery is down so what what, what did i do I uh, sometimes I uninstall the games and not only that I have to secure my phone with the password and I'm very careful when when I'm entering my password into my unlocking my phone because I don't I don't want them to be close to me because once they get hold of the password I'm in trouble so your password could actually like uh, assuming they had a, a hold of my password you know you are sleeping and you're like you put your phone anywhere, you know, um, you said uh, my phone will be useless to them after they don't have the password. They can actually get access to it. Now, someone can actually get access to your phone and if they know your password, they get in. Now, like I, I said, the, the, like the fellow who is paying through the ATM, someone could actually be spying on him and it can actually do some damages. Now, what is the best thing? The best thing is offline wallets. Like you have the Tezos, you have the Leisure, and you have this. So you could click on the links, and you can actually buy. I will put a link in my video. You can actually buy it. It's better to save yourself some heartaches. And you have the PayPal wallet like this but it's not very safe maybe it could rain on it and maybe damage it so i would advise the 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 hard hardware wallet is very good and very safe like your flash driver your stick and the question now comes are they are they safe they are safe depending on the on who gets hold on them and the other stuff now they are anonymous. I've said I've said that before. They are completely anonymous. And we're not talking about how do you now secure your wallet. So when you have a hard wallet, you you make sure you encrypt. You make sure you encrypt your 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 wallet. Make sure you back it up. You make sure you use multi signatures and the rest of them, and you take it offline using a hard wallet. And if you can't really afford a hard wallet, and you have um let me show you my phone and you have a wallet like uh like i do of uh konomi well, like konomi one of the things i would i would advise you is be careful of the internet you connect so be careful of the kind of wi-fi you connect to there are people who they get to any place and they're like you want to connect to any network no i will not advise that so you you become very careful with the network you connect to and you you try as much as possible to protect yourself um most times brush through a v, vbn a vbn a virtual private network and uh be careful when you're entering the password into your account that nobody actually looks and gets hold of your account and another thing again you make sure that this uh, private 
keys and the rest of them that nobody actually gets hold on them and you'll be pretty safe so we'll come to the end of this video on how you can actually secure your wallet so please make your own due diligence i'll put the link buy this and you'll be safe thank you very much for your support so far if you've got questions you are free free to ask i'll put my twitter account there Feel free to ask and put any of your comments. Give this video a like. Thank you. Bye.